everybody. Uh, I was just studying biochemistry and I thought might as well create those just as a form of revision for myself and maybe hopefully help most of you with a good uh, start. Um, I did those after I finished studies, so I hope it helps uh, with your upcoming biochemistry exam. So for this exam, we are required to know the contents related to um, lipids and steroids. And basically you'll find them on page 71 in the um, lab book. And they're mainly 11 points and I'll try my best to cover as much as I can from what we have taken. I wish everybody good luck and I hope uh, this is quick and easy to understand. So for fatty acid synthesis, um, what, what we need to know about fatty acid synthesis is that when, let's say for example, we eat a very sugary meal or our body has a lot of glucose going on in the um, blood system, um, the, the process would be that ATP would be produced in a large amount. And if ATP is produced in a large amount, then the body would want to convert this glucose source into a fatty acid source uh, so that it can be uh, stored. Okay, so first thing we have uh, glucose uh, from whatever the source is, maybe a very uh, sugary meal. As it enters the uh, uh, blood system, it is, it is taken care um, uh, in the liver. So it enters the liver. The glucose is then converted into pyruvate. Uh, pyruvate is then converted into acetyl-CoA and acetyl-CoA, as we all learned, goes into the Krebs cycle. So what triggers the uh, uh, synthesis of fatty acid is a very key um, step here in the Krebs cycle. So let's say that um, the Krebs cycle is going well and then the body realizes that there's a lot of ATP concentration. So ATP itself, when it's in high concentration, acts as a negative um, regulator on uh, the enzyme isocitrate dehydrogenase. And as you guys all remember, that isocitrate dehydrogenase uh, converts isocitrate into alpha-ketoglutarate. Uh, so what happens is then that uh, this, this step does not happen. So what happens is that isocitrate uh, increases in concentration and and hence, um, when that happens, the uh, step that is previous to this is um, reversible. And so isocitrate is converted back into citrate. So when the concentration of citrate increases within the mitochondria, it triggers a signal to transport the citrate out of the mitochondria into the liver. And so once citrate is out, it meets a, a, um, an enzyme called the citrate ligase. And what citrate ligase does is that it um, acts to, to do two things. It converts citrate into either oxaloacetate or it converts it into acetyl-CoA, okay? So um, the, the key step for us here is the acetyl-CoA uh, step because acetyl-CoA is then converted into a precursor called myelonyl-CoA, which is the uh, main precursor used to produce fatty acids, which is our general goal. Um, the other step is oxaloacetate converts into malate, and then malate converts into pyruvate. And malate converting into pyruvate needs an enzyme called malic acid under the effect of NADP plus converting into NADPH. Uh, so this step here uh, back uh, to, to the um, acetyl-CoA, citrate ligase gets CoA involved and produces acetyl-CoA, uh, which well, we're converting citrate into acetyl-CoA by adding CoA, and then acetyl-CoA converts into myelonyl-CoA um, by the addition of uh, CO2. And because CO2 is added, then the enzyme acting here is called acetyl-CoA carboxylase. Um, so this is basically the whole uh, process of uh, fatty acid synthesis, and how we are able to activate the acetyl-CoA carboxylase is by um, the uh, uh, positive effect of insulin, citrate, phosphate protein uh, phosphatases. These are the three ones that are able to activate the acetyl-CoA uh, carboxylase. And when it's active, it's able to convert glucose into fatty acids for storage. Now, if the body wants to go the other way to convert fatty acids into glucose, it would not want to create fatty acids. So instead, it will deactivate this enzyme and it will do so by the release of glucagon, 
uh, long chain fatty acids and PKA. As you guys all know, glucagon is a, is a hormone released that will help stimulate the cells to um, um, break down glucose and increase, uh, break down glycogen and increase its con uh, the concentration of glucose in the blood. PKA as well, long chain fatty acid, long chain fatty acids just tells that there's a lot of fatty acids present in the body, so we'd need to um, negatively regulate this enzyme to stop production of uh, fatty acid synthesis. So that's how it becomes deactivated. Thank you very much for tuning in, and I'll see you guys in the next video, where we will be talking about uh, the production of uh, triglycerides. And uh, fatty acid synthesis is a step towards um, the synthesis of triglycerides.